एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एसक्यूएल प्रॉब्लम आज इन अ इंटरव्यू इन स्विगी फॉर अ डेटा एनालिस्ट पोजीशन सो दिस क्वेश्चन सेज राइट अ एसक्यूएल क्वेरी टू फाइंड आउट सप्लायर आईडी प्रोडक्ट आईडी एंड स्टार्टिंग डेट ऑफ रिकॉर्ड डेट फॉर व्हिच स्टॉक क्वांटिटीज लेस देन 50 फॉर टू और मोर कंसेक्यूटिव डेज सो बेसिकली you have this table where you have supplier id product id stock quantity and record date this table means that with supplier 1 for product 1 there is a stock quantity of 60 so this is kind of a inventory table and on this date there were 60 quantities of this product with supplier 1 right now on second this is the stock quantity for same product on the same supplier right now this is product 2 so on this date with supplier 1 this is the quantity and so on so we have to find those supplier id and product id combination right those supplier id product id combination for which the stock quantity is less than 50 on two or more consecutive days right so what i have done i have created more data to cover more use cases so let's switch to sql server to understand the problem okay so if you look at it here we have supplier id 1 stock quantity 60 record date 1 so now what we have to look for first is quantity should be less than 50 so here it is greater than 50 so this is of no use for us here if you see it is 40 35 45 so if you see for supplier id 1 product id 1 it is consecutive 3 days it is less than 50 which is it is more than 2 days right it should be for more than two days two or more consecutive days which means this will be in our output so this is one group basically and if you see supplier id 1 so this is the output for this right for these three row product id 1 supplier id 1 number of days 3 we have to find for how many consecutive days as well it was less than 50 so it will be three days and first date from which date it is started So on second it is started for three days. So this is how this is in the output. Now if you look at the next date which is six, so that's why six is not coming with this group because it has to be consecutive. So six will be separate, but it is only for one day, right? We don't have any record for seven, so only for one day it was. It is anyway greater than fifty, so it doesn't matter. So it will not come in the output, right? Now if you look at this again, it is greater than fifty, so it will not be in the output. again if you see here from 10 11 it is for two consecutive days it is less than 50 so again this is in the output 1 1 right number of days two starting on 10th right and so on we have for other combination as well so if we go down a bit if you see we have this right 1 2 combination for 1 2 combination for consecutive two days it is it is less than 50 so if you see here for 1 2 1 and 2 it is starting on 8th for two days right if you look at 2 1 2 1 is not there in output why because it is only for one day less than 50 on 6 it is less than 50 but on 7th it is greater than 50 so this is not there in output right now for 2 2 if you see here it is for three consecutive days less than 50 it is it is greater than 50 so three consecutive days it is less than 50 and so again it is coming as 2 2 for three consecutive days start date is 8 okay i hope the question is clear let's move on to the solution now one thing is clear that we are start, we are interested only for days where stock quantities less than 50 so we will write away filter the data right stock quantity less than 50 okay and let's look at the data again okay so this is my data now now one interesting thing here is this is stock quantity column is of no use right it doesn't matter what is the quantity i was only interested in the quantity should be less than 50 so what i will do i will just not take this column in the output right so it is just unnecessarily there i can focus on the columns which are really needed so i'll just take these three columns and we can continue our analysis okay so this is the data now looks looks more cleaner okay so if you see what we have to do somehow somehow for each supplier id and product id combination i need to group the rows which on consecutive days so for example this is on second this is on third this is on fourth so this is a one group 
if i can create a column called group id and i give the same group name let's say group 1 group 1 group 1 right then i can do a group by on that right and take the minimum record date number of records if number of records is greater than equal to 2 which means this should be there in my output and for record date i can take minimum right this is how it will work right this should be another group right this should be another group because it is not consecutive it is starting again on 10th so this will be let's say this will be group 1 this will be group 2 right and similarly this will be group 3 right and this will be group 4 this will be group 5 in this group i will have only one record so this will not be there in the output because there should be at least two or more consecutive right so here there are two or more consecutive this will be one group and will be there in the output so somehow i have to do that now the problem is i cannot simply group by on supplier id and product id because there are multiple records here right if i take minimum minimum will come this and i will get only one record but in fact there should be three record one for this group one for this group and one for this group so i cannot simply do a group by on supplier id product id and take minimum of the record data and count that will give me wrong answer somehow i have to create this grouping this should be one group this should be one group okay so let's see how we can do it so first thing is first most important thing here is i need to check which records are on consecutive days right so if three between the difference between the days is one it means it is consecutive difference between these two is one then it means it will be consecutive so i will take the lag the date of previous record so that i can compare with the current record right if it is one then they are in the if it it is one then it means it, the difference is one if it is more it means it is more right so let me do it and then i will show you how to use that so i will say lag of record date by one over now here we have to do for combination of supply id product id so i will say partition by supplier id comma product id right this is fine and then order by record date and this is what we have to do so if i just run it now so we got the previous row and call it previous record date okay so let me run it again okay so this is my previous record date now if you see here for the first record it is null so we will handle it somehow but for the second record the previous is second if you know the difference between these two it will be one again the difference between these two will be one but here it will be six so whenever the difference is more than one we can say a new group is starting whenever the difference is more than one we can say a new group is starting right because if you see this one and this one right this one and this one if you see this is a new group right because it is more than one but here it is the difference is one so this is not a new group it will be a consecutive again here if you see this is starting on 15 so it is a new group because difference between this and previous 11 is not one if it was one it would have been part of the same group so it means again new group is starting and this is the difference is one so it is part of the previous this group only which we started on the previous row so somehow this way we have to create the groups so what i will do now first i will find the difference between record date and previous record date before that we have to handle null so for null what i will do i will put record date only okay so we will get same date in case of there is no previous record so we are getting 2 1 only and the difference will be zero so i can say if the difference is less than equal to 1 which is 0 1 then it is a start of a it is not a start of a new group if it is greater than 1 it is a start of a new group okay i'll just show you so let's take date diff date diff and i need difference in days between the previous record date which is this so i'll just directly put this here and record date right as days diff okay don't worry if you are not able to understand it i'll just explain again okay so we got day this is 0 1 1 right now if you see here this is a day diff is greater than 1 which means which means this is a new group we are starting a new group so these three will be in the same group okay and this will be a start of new group so what we will do we will flag the records wherever there is a start of a new group 
wherever the days diff is greater than 1 i will say mark that as 1 everything else as 0 okay so we can use it for grouping so let me create it as ct with ct as this right and let me little bit minimize it and i will say select star from ct right and i will say case when case when days diff is less than equal to 1 then 0 else 1 and as diff flag okay or or let's call it group id group flag let's call it group flag okay so let me run this and show you how it will help me okay so if you see this is my group flag and this is my days diff so if you see this group i am giving this group as zero so this is my group zero right all of these records if you see is group zero now whenever a new group is starting group flag is one so this until we find the new one this will be a one group again from here until we find a new group new group within same supply id product id this you have to be careful right so till here till here from here till here this will be one group from here it will be a new group because we have a new combination of supply id product id that's why we have done partition by supply id and product id so this will be again a new group from here till here because again a new is starting right here again if you see 2 2 this is a new group completely right so we have 0 0 0 because it is consecutive now the day is 6 it is a again a new group right so at the start of a new group the flag is 1 otherwise it will be zero right now what i can do with this is i can take a running sum so if i take a running sum from here it will be 0 0 0 right running sum for each supply id product id combination so it will be 0 0 0, 0. and for this and this it will be 1 and 1 right so this is 0 0 0 this will be 1 this will be 1 running sum 1 plus 0 is 1 right so this will become group 2 or sorry group 1 this is group 0 this will be group 1 again here 1 is coming so it will be now 3 2 sorry 1 plus 1 2 so this and this will be 2 so let me do this and show you so let's keep this as it is and i will say sum right and call it group id over let me let me copy this as it is okay so i am saying sum of this whatever we derived above over partition by supply id product id order by record date as group id okay let me run this and show you the magic so if you see these three records are same group now right that that is what we wanted again these two records are same group one one right because what we are doing only when there is a new group we are flagging as one so once we have the one it will continue as one because rest of the things will be zero so it will be one again this is 2 2 right again this is one this is 0 0 0 this is a new combination so every time a new combination is coming it is starting from zero for this one it is the same combination supply id product id so for each group we are starting the group id zero and then uh, incrementing it by one and then two right but for this there is only one group right zero zero again for two one there is only one group zero again for two two for two two how many groups are there for two groups are there one is consecutive you see eight nine ten and this is sixty right and we are doing less than equal to one because there is zero for the first record always right because there is no previous record for that and that's how we are able to create the group id right now what i will do i'll just say i'll create another ct ct2 as this right now i can group on supplier id product id and group id right so i will say select from ct2 sorry 2 and let's call it let, let me copy it from here supplier id product id right and group id as well group id otherwise there will be a problem if i don't do it there will be no proper groups group id right so this is done 
Now I have to do a group by on this. So select this and as well as group by. Group by same column. Now what I need, I need count star. Count star will give me number of records. Right, this is also I need in my output. As well as minimum of record date. Right, this is what was the question. That is starting of the, so when I group on these three, these three rows, the minimum will be two. Again, when these two will be grouped together, minimum will be 10, right? So I will say minimum of record date as first date, right? Now this is done. Now one more thing is that let me run this and then one more condition we have to put. So let's run this. Okay, so this is fine. But for some of the records, the number of records is one. You see some of the groups. So these groups are not valid, right? There should be at least two or more consecutive days when the stock is less than 50. So I will put a condition having this count star should be greater than 1 or greater than equal to 2. It is the same thing. If I do this, I should get my answer. Right? Now one more thing is there that group ID is extra. So I got my answer. Right? There are four records or three records of 1, 1, one record of 1, 2 and one record of 2, 2. You can just take from the description box, create table, insert table, try it yourself. But there is group ID as well, right, in the output, which we don't need. So we can remove it, but we make sure you keep it in the group by. Because if you remove it from the group, group by, you will end up doing group by on supplier ID and product ID, which will again give you the wrong result. So you can remove it from the select, but you have to keep it in the group by. Okay. So if I run this now, you have got the right answer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a little bit tricky question, so don't worry. If you don't understand it fully, try it yourself. Take everything from the description box and do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a good day.